I do remember that when I was in elementary school, I was looking at the sky and I saw light from the sky and I was wondering, is this light hitting me physically? Similar to raindrops, if you are hit by raindrops, there's a force exerted on you from the from top down. So that means um, if light is hitting me and I stand on a scale and I turn on the light, I should be pushed down slightly by light and I, my weight would increase. Little did I know that I was actually thinking about the concept of radiation pressure, which is actually a real thing. And that happened to be my very first research project. My field of study generally, you can call it planet formation. You can tackle this problem in multiple aspects. My uh, point of attack is numerical simulation. What that entails is usually you simulate a, the environment where planets are supposed to form and then you find out how that happens and what kind of results you're going to get compared to what we actually observe in the universe. In fact, uh, historically this is referred to as the origin problem because this is asking the question of how we come to be because the idea was that this is the world, planet Earth is the world. I'm not that often asked if there are lives on other planets. I think people tend to have their own opinions about it already made up um, in their minds. And my guess is absolutely because the Earth doesn't seem very special. Every night, half of your world is just all these stars in, your, in the sky. If you start wondering what that is, and how that works, you start thinking about the laws of nature. I think astronomy is the root of human curiosity. Whenever you look at civilization, their rise and fall, it seems like astronomy is always one thing that is in the forefront when, uh, when the civilization rises. The people start getting curious about things up there, and then many things just sort of follow. People become scientifically interested